Hello everybody, my name is Raging Raptor and I welcome you in the 1.4 Super Test, uh, not Super Test, excuse me, Common Test. And today, as the title of the video suggests, suggests, can't speak today, we are going to play a round of Frontline. I already played a round for my German channel and today we're just going to have a look at the normal game and see what we can do. And so far you can see there are things we're going to have a look afterwards. But overall, there were a lot of changes. You can now rent different vehicles. There will be 10 weeks in total this game mode once every month, a whole week. 10 prestige. You can get up to a tier nine special reward tank, which is not yet disclosed. Yeah, and you can get the email 1951 if I'm correct by the number which is basically an Emil one with better side armor better soft stats but worse CPM and only three shots in its auto loader and obviously for today's replay it is going to be played live <laughs> so there can go a whole lot of things wrong we are going to play the link 6x6 we are the attackers which is also always interesting Especially as they buff the attacking side. So yeah, you might want to look forward to being attacker all the time. You can't influence it, obviously, but being attacker definitely makes a big, 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 big difference. So yeah, let's say like that. Frontline is probably the highlight of this year so far. We shouldn't forget though the, the rebalance of tier 10, tier 9 and tier 8 vehicles they promised as well as from what I've heard at least maybe even a crew rebalance. I would love to see this and they finally fixed the names. We are now a private and not some random Russian name I can't say. Again we are in the links 6x6 and damn it they still didn't buff that what I wanted them to buff or change. So. If we have right now a double R in it and we press X to change the mode, we totally fall out of it. That's so unfortunate that they still didn't change that. But yeah, at the moment you can see I'm recording with OBS and I'm also recording with Audition my awesome voice. And we are at the moment at a stable 92 to 100 frames per second. So you can totally feel the better performance. One thing I'm missing though, or at the moment I'm just kind of curious is kind of feels super dark. I don't know if it's just me or um, Frontline at the moment. Yep, there was a little bit of lag, but that not, was not too big of a problem. I'm going to stay somewhere around here to spot the Amex 5100 if he tries to drive up. And there was nice free, so let's see what we can do with that guy. Damn it, wanted to do a shot before the 5100 gets a shot into me. Because he's the guy which spotted me. I'm not sure if he's actually looking at me. The good thing is about those French wheeled vehicles, you have just this awesome mobility. And yeah, he doesn't really want to get shot up by me. <laughs> Nor does he want to push up. You can see at the moment we already got three different things. We have the artillery strike, which is also leveled up fully. We have inspiration and the capping skill. It looks like that... The tanks still kind of lo look a little bit wonky from the textures, but that's not a big deal to be honest. I think this is also, it's still the CT, so we shouldn't really mind that. In this game mode, definitely medium tanks have the upper hand. Unlucky that we bounced that one somehow. But what also, this wheel vehicles kind of lack the aider penetration, first of all, and the DPM to be effective snipers. I'm also a little bit of a a uh, uh, mean dude for just sniping and not even hitting anything. But at the moment I really have a good flanking position that I want to smack in as much damage as possible. I can't really focus that 5100. But wait, is this a pixel snipe? No, we are not going to hit that pixel snipe. That 5100 is a big, 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 big problem for me personally. And you can see we're starting to run low on shells. Most, maybe, maybe. Changing into rapid mode to be able to get away if it's the situation gets hairy. This guy show me his butt, 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 butt. The butt is not an option for us because we miss. Nevertheless, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, come on, we're gaming. What is this life server? I shouldn't have that. Up. I shouldn't be that unlucky. Come, come on, this tank. Yeah, there we go. We finally got a kill. 
don't want to fight this guy because it's a 5100 which can easily clip me hence why we are going to run boy run boy oh we gotta watch up there's a stone we can still use the perfect little thing here 50 oh perfect gv tiger pgw tiger excuse me v is the german pronunciation for that one now we can maybe get this guy as a kill perfect we are doing a whole lot for our team to just go into sides now i guess though it would be a good idea for us to just kind of try to get into the cap and get some capping points out of it we don't have much hp but we should be fast enough to drive in and hide behind those pesky japanese heavy tanks Oop. screech hey, 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 hey. get away that's 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 my that's my uh, i want to hide behind him okay Oh. So, as you can see, turning with those vehicles is no fun at all. Well, now I guess we just wait and hope that the Oho wreck is not going to despawn. Fuck you, RT. God damn it, man. Losing like 10 HP and resetting through the wreck. Turning on a dime is definitely hard with those vehicles, especially when you're getting snapshot up by some random dude in a tiger too. Come on, get go in and kill this guy. Guys, team. This ah, damn it. Wow, we're getting sniped by an ISM camper. That's unfortunate. I didn't expect him to be this good at sniping as I wasn't. But I guess right now we can just take one of our tanks, which, I don't know. We could try to go for something OP. At least people think it's still OP, so... Yeah, let's try to go with something like the IS-3A. Normally, they said, as already said, um, being the attacker should be easier to win. But it looks like right at the moment we don't really have a good team and this is what you usually see on the test server. Hence why test server is such a poor idea for wargaming. Like, I don't understand why exactly they allow this because that is like no test environment whatsoever. Because, yes, in tier 10, in real tier 10 games, that would be the case. Yes, everybody would shoot gold because they have no brains and we have tanks with no armor or with so much armor that you can't do anything anyway. But let's be honest, in a tier 8 game, in a, something like this, nah man, we don't, there is no need to spam that much gold, to be honest. But, oh well, might have made a mistake to drive here. Let's try to get her down. Perfect, we got down. No problem, neat. Now, oh look, this was an artillery strike and, man, what the... What's going on, team? Why can't we get at least that? Oh, screw off. <laughs> the problem is this zoo is going to respawn, which is really unfortunate for us. Didn't want it to risk it. Yeah, nobody's going to capture with me, so we are kind of boned. Oh, look at that artillery. Still fun and engaging gameplay mechanic. Yeah, dude. Easily penetrate me like that. Fuck off. Really unfortunate, man. Because our team decides at the moment to do jack shit to try and win. Oh no, he's going to shoot gold at me. Yeah. Oh no, what? He actually <laughs> shot AP. That, no, that's 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 amazing. That, I'm actually surprised because I would have been. Ah. Let's be honest, it's standard to just shoot gold only. In this game mode, at least. Yeah, nobody of us is actually trying to capture over here, even though we are more people. Wow. Feels bad, man. And the IS2M already got Lieutenant, I don't know what's called. You, man. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I, I got 500 damage, he got 185. Lovely, uh, that's how I like it. Should probably try to, yeah. Should have took, take something like the mutant or something. Much more reliable. And problem is I don't have, I only have this one for my uh, heavies, which is really dumb by me. I should probably get um, the other tech thingy, which gives you easier capturing, like a faster capture method. I might die because of the IS-6, but I really need to repair my tank. Wow, we got lucky as hell over there. We Amorak this guy. Unfortunate for him. So, let's see what we can do. I think we need to flank. Come on, repair faster. Fuck it. As good as new. Yeah, he's right, as good as new. Let's see what we can do. We can't really assassinate the Emil one. Too little damage in our... Um, we need to do an uproar though. We really need to get something going over here. I might waste myself here, but whatever. We gotta win this somehow. We didn't even got out of the first thing. Nice. We got that guy. <sighs> this fucking artillery piece. I want to get my links back. I'm going to murder this guy. So going to fucking murder this guy. Again, guys, I don't really see why you have to spam gold like an idiot on the test server, but at in the end, like really you can still it you can still do it with normal rounds. Our reinforcements have arrived. <laughs> yeah. Sadly we got outskilled. <laughs> By gold ammunition, boys and girls. Um, whatsoever, I think we still have a tank left. Is our Lynx back in action? That's awesome. Let's try to do it on a different flank. And I, I, I'm, guys, I'm telling you, this artillery piece is going to die by my hand. I, I want, I want his head. I'm going to get his head. But still, we are doing so poorly. It's actually sad to see. We couldn't really push into there because of the artillery being just the annoying. But which we expect him to be, because he's playing artillery. Man, 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 we do not get anything at the moment. Frustrating, guys, frustrating. Obviously, this game mode, definitely, you gotta play in Platoon. Oh, and the first shot we get is a dead gunner. Wow, wowie. That's unfortunate for us. Now we gotta watch out to not flip ourselves, how it happened last time. Um, I think I have to drive. I, I really want to get into the back of the enemy on the other side. But we're probably going to lose this. What an unfortunate game. Looks like our Russians were not as good, Sukabliat, as the enemy's ones. Try to Tried our best to get on the other side, but we're getting just pummeled by this artillery piece. We don't even get any time, really. This flank, sure, but come on, another... We, we don't even get... Look, look where our team is, man. Ah, this is really unfortunate. We might get C. Oh, please, please, just stay in C so we get overtime. Please, I want to murder that artillery piece so badly. And also, this is one with, with the Lynx. He feels so much better to drive than the Q10 tank, to be honest. Yes, we are in overtime. Just stay. Ah, probably not going to happen. They're just going to YOLO him. <laughs> yeah, but there we go. Unfortunate guys, really really unfortunate. I couldn't I don't know what I've done could have done better in that game, but this is what sometimes you will get also on the live server. My 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 idea or my tip for that would be just play in platoon, man. Just play in your what is it, even four people platoon or three people at least? Just play in platoon and then you have it such a better time with this game mode. Because you can definitely carry yourself when just yoloing into this into the enemy, especially with this engineering tool. Now we got a little bit stuck. They did today an update and beforehand it worked, but we had some troubles with um, emblems. Um, but I don't know what exactly is going on now, so... Huh. Yeah, I guess we have to desert because... 
uh, we are not getting out of the scam and I still want to show you some things. At the moment we might run into a like one thing which bothers me at the moment is um, when you get a prestige it's really unclear how many prestige points you get. Why are prestige points important? Prestige points are the things which you can, you've guessed it, buy those tanks and you need 15 for the tier 9, 12 for the tier 8 premium which are new. Like, you know guys, I'm not going to go for those tanks because why should I? <laughs> They're just like, uh, yeah. It's really uh, nothing I really need to bother about because I already got those tanks. But it's interesting, you can exchange prestige points for 300 gold and 100 bonds in total. And you can see that for prestige 1, for prestige 3, prestige 5, prestige 7, prestige 9, you get those prestige points. But once again, it's kind of, you don't really know for how many you get, and that's the problem. If you get 30 in total, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 3, excuse me, 5 times 3, you are a little bit out of luck. You only can get this tank, which is really unfortunate, I think, because I personally want to be able to get both vehicles. Both good vehicles, both new vehicles. Wargaming said though that you can get a maximum of two of those vehicles at once. So, yeah, six and ten. You will probably get more than th that. You probably will get 20 if I am not too mistaken. So you could say that each of those gives you four prestige points, meaning you could get something like this and that, that and that, and some prestige points to exchange. Obviously, I would love to see somehow to get 30 prestige points. That would be amazing, but so far it looks really unlikely. You can see you also get something like steady in hand, you get those things. They're going to revamp them, obviously. It's just a proof of concept at the moment. And one thing you will also see, um, you can still get this thing and this is what I'm talking about, the engineering one. It helps you a lot better to get a lot more block or the capture bonus. The capture bonus is like the most important thing you want to look forward to when you are an attacker. So this should be mandatory on your frontline heavies. And when you are in a platoon, which three people have this one, guys, it's it's finger licking good. Okay, you can still only play three people in platoon. Anyway, get your three people or three friends of you and you should be good to go to play the frontline mode and actually carry your weak team like I had to victory. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. You could see that there were a little bit still bugs, um, especially we are still stuck in the game, basically. I don't know what happened there, but well, we can't change that. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you all later.